We're going to use trapezoids to construct another picture of the rate at which the rate changes. If x goes 10, 20, 30, uh, and some function f of x is plotted on the vertical, then if we have three points on the graph uh, corresponding to the 10, 20, and 30 values of x, and let's say those three values are 10, 15, and 18, then from the trapezoids we determine the slopes 0.5 and 0.3. That's 0.5 units per units of y or f for units of x. And these are the approximations to our derivative. So between 10 and 20, the approximate derivative is 0.5. It might vary over that interval, but that's actually the average value of the derivative over the interval. And the average value over this interval is 0.3. Now, f prime changes from 0.5 to 0.3. It changes over a period of approximately 10 seconds because our best guess is that the average derivative is going to occur at the midpoint of each time interval. So that at 15 seconds we'd have a 0.5 and at 25 seconds we'd have a 0.3 slope. So that over that 10 second interval we have a change of negative 0.2 in the derivative. So at what average rate is the derivative changing between here and here? A change of point, negative 0.2 over a period of 10 seconds is, of course, an average rate of negative 0.02. And that is the rate at which the slope is changing. Since the slope represents the rate at which the function is changing, then that quantity is the rate at which the rate changes. We designate that average rate of slope change uh, by putting it between something that looks sort of like less than and greater than signs, call them pointy brackets, and we see that the average rate of slope change, which is change of slope over change of time, change of slope is negative 0.2, the change in time is 10 seconds, so we get a rate of negative 0.02, and that is again the average rate at which the rate changes.